We're going to end the show with some college football, but right now we're going to talk a little bit about the world of sports venturing into politics. And we this has got this is really an unprecedented act that happened. Brandon Ian Badejo, the Ra a backup Ravens linebacker, he posted a video uh, advocating for gay marriage rights in Maryland because that is going on the ballot pretty soon in Maryland. And Emmett Burns, a, a representative in Congress, Democrat. He said to Ian Badejo, he sent a letter to the GM and the owner of the Ravens saying, tell your players to keep their mouths shut, mouth shut about political issues. They shouldn't have an opinion on this, basically. Which, personally, I think that is ridiculous. No matter who it's coming from, that is a ridiculous statement. Saying that free speech should be confined when you're talking about sports players. Chris Cluey. Minnesota Vikings punter. He has been very politically active in the past years. He sent a very strongly worded profanity-laced letter to Emmett Burns, basically saying, you don't know what the Constitution is, you don't know what free speech is, and all of the Ravens organization is backing up Ian Badejo's advocation of gay marriage. You know, I believe Ian Badejo did a good thing here, and he really helped out just changed football's face. You know, football has never really ventured into politics before. By Ian Badejo doing this, it really helps out the game of football and just takes away from possible stereotypes people might have. What do you think about it? Yeah, um, the big thing is we're in the 21st century and mm -hmm. athletes are now celebrities. They're popular people. They have a lot of influence. So with political things, whether it's gay marriage or pro-life or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you have to be careful what you're saying because you are People listen to you, people respect you, people want to know what you're thinking, people want to be around you. So you do have to be careful. I think it is good though because it is, if it's something you believe in and it's something that is worth fighting for, I think put your influence and put your money into it. I think that's great. There was obviously, here in Boston, we're very familiar with the Tim Thomas situation. Yep, where, very much. Um, it's a different situation but still involved politics where he would not go to the White House with his team because he does not believe in what President Obama is saying. I completely disagreed with that. I thought, you know, you, it's a team thing. It's not about politics. you got to go there. It's a different situation, but it's still uh, athletes and influence. So I think whatever it is, be careful with it. Um, use your influence in the right way. Um, so be careful. That's basically my thing. Because exactly. you see so many of these things just blow up. And you don't want to, so your image does not want to get destroyed because it's it, an image is something tough to build up and you don't want to ruin it with a, a stupid comment or supporting something that you don't truly believe in. So be careful. <laughs> you know, I'm going to read what Emmett Burns wrote to the Ravens ownership. He wrote, as a delegate to the Mar Maryland General Assembly and a Baltimore Ravens football fan, I find it inconceivable that one of your players, Mr. Brendan Ian Badejo, would publicly endorse same-sex marriage specifically as a Ravens football player, which is insane. It's basically saying, it's basically saying regulate your players' speech rights, which Chris Cluey jumped right on, writing to Emmett Burns, as I suspect, you have not read the Constitution. I would like to remind you that the very first, the very first amendment in this founding document deals with the freedom of speech, particularly the abridgment of said freedom. So basically, Chris Cluey wrote a long, profanity-laced, <laughs> pretty comical letter to Emmett Burns saying that you have no place saying this. And you know, I truly think that by Ian Badejo saying this, it's going to create a new face to the NFL in a good way and yeah. basically opening up the way for players to be making political statements, whether or not, just regardless of what side it's on, what it's supporting. By Ian Badejo doing this, players are going to become more active in politics, which could be a good thing, but it could also lead down the road to politics and football just completely meshing and things happening that nobody wants to happen. As a broadcaster, we obviously believe in freedom of speech heavily because it's what we do. We talk and exactly. we talk about what we want to. So this Maryland uh, politician is completely off. You know, people can say whatever they want. Read the Constitution again. Exactly. So um, they can say whatever they want. It, it's a, it is going to change the NFL. I mean, these guys have a lot of influence, a lot of money. Very. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how uh, the, the NFL takes any action. But also. Um, like the NFL does do good things like the NFL is doing breast cancer month this month so it just shows that they can do a lot of things with the power they have and it a lot you know the door is wide open who knows what's going to come next uh, it'll be interesting to see
Exactly. Uh, and the Ravens organization did release a statement. They basically said that we strongly support, you know, people's freedom and ability and just we're not discriminatory whatsoever. And they strongly supported Ayambadejo's comments. 